initially I have Lena uh, checking for horizontal movement. It's actually within the if uh, statement to see if the y velocity is greater than zero. So I'm going to take it out of that and see if it improves the, uh, the collision, whether she gets stuck or you know, maybe it improves it a bit. She doesn't seem to be penetrating into the horizontal barrier at all. Though I think if she's right on the ground and you keep pressing the uh, moving her right, she will probably penetrate through the barrier a little bit. What I'll do is I'll create a final variable for ground friction so that when she jumps up, uh, it's easier to adjust um, when she's sliding on the platform because she's sliding on grass. We want her to slow down a bit. So let's go back into the Lena dart dart and set up a, a variable. We can make a final variable for ground friction. We'll set the ground friction up to maybe something like 0.22. It's going to be less than the force of gravity because she has some type of magical skateboard here. And then in the update loop for the Lena sprite component, we'll um, adjust the horizontal velocity, the x velocity, and either subtract or add the friction based on which direction she's going. We'll first use the override decorator, and then we'll, it's not a future, uh, it's just void update double dt. And within this update loop, we'll adjust the velocity x of Lena depending on which direction she's going in. The super dot update dt is just to run all the algorithms um, that's already in the existing update, which is part of flame. Then we'll set up two different conditions. The first condition will be when she's moving to the left. And the second one will be when she's moving to the right. It, we know she's moving to the left if the uh, game velocity is less than zero. Uh, but we also want to cause this motion when it's uh, also zero. So we'll, we'll also add a if statement in so that if the velocity is greater than zero, it means that uh, there's been too much friction applied. So we'll just set it to zero at that point. If you think about how friction works, like she's going to be rolling up into the point where um, the velocity becomes zero, then she'll just stop. Unless she's on a hill, but we're not taking that into account right now. So we'll continue this for the right hand side. And we're going to check to see whether she's already off and rolling in one of the directions. And if she is, then we'll apply the friction unless uh, she's already stopped or, um, you know, she's on the edge of the screen. We don't want to apply the friction continuing um, toward the edge of the screen.
if neither of the two conditions is true, then we'll end it with uh, setting the velocity of x to 0. And then let's run our game and test it to see how Lena, this world skater, is doing in our virtual world. The reason she's penetrating through the barriers on the right or the left is that we're pushing her off. And so I'm going to set up these Boolean variables to check to see whether she's hit on the right or the left. So there's going to be this hit right and a hit left. Initially, it'll be both be false. I think we have that X anchor point uh, in the center. So we just have these simple if statements to see if the collision uh, hit point is to the left or the right, right? So if it's less than or greater than, then we know um, which side she hit on. Then if we know which side she hit uh, the barrier on her right side or left side, when we try to push her off the barrier, we can set up a a boolean check to make sure that she's headed in the right direction. So if the point uh, zero, right, so zero is the x a portion of that intersection point. If it's greater than x, uh, it's hit her on the right side or she collided on her right. So we'll set hit right to true. Um, and maybe just to be safe, we probably don't need it, we'll set the hit left to false. And there, we'll repeat this in the other direction. When the collision ends, uh, she's not hitting anything. So let's say that you know, she jumps up and she clears it or something. So we'll set it to both false at that point as well too. And then before we push her off, um, either to the left or the right, we'll set up a check here. So if she's not hitting right, then we'll adjust it. And with these simple checks, let's uh, test the game again. And we're going to test to make sure that she can't go through the, the barriers on a horizontal movement uh, this time. And we'll also check to make sure she's not getting stuck you know, like if she jumps toward the barrier and she hits the barrier when she's in the midair, we don't want her to get stuck as well, too. She's not Spider-Man or she's not a gecko. I'm going to zip up the code at this point and uh, put it up on the Teachable site. So if there's any problems, you can just download it from there. It's completely free.
Subscribe to the channel for updates on the more than 50 videos I've made on Flame. The videos with source code are also available for free on Teachable, 100% free course. This is a hobby. In whatever way you choose to learn, make sure you have fun and unleash your creativity. Have a fantastic day.